Welcome to LPD Racing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we hope you enjoy the content that you're about to see. LPB GT3 Sprint Series Round 3 Race 1 from Bathurst, Australia. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for the LPB GT3 Sprint Series on Project Cars 2. This is round 3 of the season from Bathurst in Australia. So let's take you through the grid for race 1. So it was qualifying for, race, for qualifying before race one, and it is Woo Woo on pole position. When oh, oh sorry guys, the drone camera getting stuck there. There we go. Let's try it again. There we go. The so it's Woo Woo on pole position. He's in the McLaren this time. He's uh, him and Neil are in the McLaren. Then we've got Tim, new guy, Tim Ofsky. So Tim, German uh, German fellow who's, who's joined us in LPB racing. Best of luck to him in his first race and second on the grid in the BMW. There he's uh, he's uh, stepping in for for uh, Twerdy there. So it's Woo in third place he's in a yellow BMW his teammate Blake there fifth the nifty dark ninja in fourth he's in a, he's in the Cora NSX with Growly so Blake is fifth in the BMW Darren is sixth in the Ferrari Pash is further back and we've got Bert in seventh that's uh, Tim's teammate there and then Intrepid in eighth he's the, he's in a Porsche and uh, Biz is in a Porsche but further back and then we've got Growly in ninth Pash is in 10th, Neil Farmack 11th with Wu uh, in the front row and Bidster at the back in 12th place. So plenty of people running different cars in this one, so should make for some good racing. So here we go then, ready for the off. And lights out and off we go. As we go down to the first corner, we, start, we all uh, agreed a gentleman's agreement not to pass into the first corner because it would be a bit... Uh, risky so here we go as we go out the corner woo woo then ahead and then further back oh we've got Kurt cars moving ducking and diving further back I think Bert gets a good run on Darren in the Ferrari so there they go Bert and Darren through oh that's a very zoomed in shot there there we go down to the start of the mountain then down the hill as Bert then uh, is ahead of Darren further back we've got Pash and I think that's in uh, Growly trying to get alongside him Growly tucks in as they go up the hill so up to the mountain section then, looking at Blake in fourth place, sliding the BMW out, he's slid, oh, he's hit the wall, bang, and Nifty runs into him, in the air he goes, mounts the car on the wall, and everyone else gets through, and Blake's now going to turn the car around, so not good for Blake there, he's going to turn it around, Nifty Dark Ninja had nowhere to go there, and now he continues up the hill with the rest of them. So Intrepid there a bit wide as you go on to the mountain, but everything seems to be okay so far. There's Nifty, Darren going through, and there. Uh, Woo Woo and Tim have just sort of, they've gone, they're already down at the dipper, there's Woo Woo and there's uh, Tim in second place, Tim the German driver joining us in LPB Racing, the first German driver in LPB Racing and we wish him the best of luck in these races or in his future in LPB Racing, Will in third, then we've got Bert fourth, there he is, Darren's fifth, Nifty Dark Ninja 7th, seven, uh, seven, 6th, sixth. 7th seventh is Intrepid as he go through the Forest Elbow, down onto the Conrad Strait and up to the chase, there we go, as they go down the hill, everyone nicely through there, obviously bids through at the back in the Porsche, he's still not made up many positions yet, so uh, not, uh, not really getting a move on too far, but through the chase and down to the bottom of the hill, it's Woo Woo then with it, Tim looking for the Tim looking for a way through, but no way through, he's found from Tim there, as you go through the, to the chicane, and everyone else is intrepid then, with Pash up the inside, gives you space and there's contact, and... I think Intrepid came across on Pash there a little bit, I'm not sure, but they, they rejoin at the back and uh, Pash and Intrepid get going. We'll get replays on that later on at the halfway point as Growly goes look, looks for the inside of Neil Farmack as uh, trying to get back into his place, but Bidster gets a good run on Growly then out of the last corner and down to the first corner. We can overtake this time. Bidster on the inside with the, with the white Porsche goes down the inside and takes eighth position from Growly. So up the hill we go. And it's Woo Woo in the lead with Tim in second still. McLaren from BMW up the mountain we go. Will's actually catching these two in his BMW as well. So Will's actually on, uh, doing very well here. Very impressive stuff from Will the American. And then it's uh, Bert in fourth. Oh, oh, big incident in the back. Big incident in the back. We've got some kind of big off. Is that... That's Bidster. Bidster's gone round. Massive incident there involving Bidster. And Bidster's gone round. He's waiting for Blake to go past. And now he's uh, oh, trying to get the car turned around in some way, shape or form. But uh, I think he had a ton. I think the, the other culprit in that was Growly. So uh, 
Not quite sure what happened, but again, we'll get a replay later on. But the big story is Bidster is at the back of the grid now with a very, very uh, aerodynamically challenged Porsche. So meanwhile, Darren there in fifth place. He's got Nifty Dark Ninja chasing him down. Ferrari versus Acora. Good thing that we've got all different cars in this. Makes it uh, more interesting. Not like the first race at Abu Dhabi that we had. <laughs> Where everyone was uh, in the same thing. But a uh, good uh, bit of variation there. Neil Farmack starting to catch these boys now. He's left Growly and all them because of the incident that happened with... Uh, possibly the incident that happened with Growly and Bidstep. But down the hill we go. And it's past chasing the back of the Acora now. Meanwhile, out front, Wuru still holding on to his lead. Then in the McLaren, Tim breathing down his neck in the BMW. But it doesn't look like, doesn't look like Wuru's going to be making much of a mistake here because he's doing very consistent times. Been very quick since he joined LPB Racing as well. So these two relatively new. And they're showing everyone else how it's done. Will's trying to keep on the back of him with lights ablaze in the BMW. There's Bert in fourth. A good solid fourth place for him so far. We've got Darren, a very well, a very good fifth place so far for Darren. One of his best uh, uh, drives of the season so far. So Darren doing very well in fifth. Nifty Dark Ninja as well, very well in the Acora in sixth. Neil Farmax catching up to these boys in seventh. He's just under 207.5. The rest of him, front, the three cars in front of him are in the 208s. So let's uh, see if you can catch up anytime soon to him. There's Growl, there's Growly. His pass has gone through, and Growly's in ninth. And then he got Intrepid, 10th, Blake, 11th, and Bidster back in 12th. So not a good start of the uh, of the first of these races for Bidster, Blake, and Intrepid involved in those incidents that we saw earlier. Up the mountain we go. We got Nifty and uh, and Darren and everyone else looking quite close here. Neil Farmax on the back of these boys now. Neil Farmax on the back of the Acora of Nifty Dark Ninja, and he's looking for a way through as we go up the mountain. Oh, Darren runs wide, hits the wall. That's going to make Ninja hesitate, and then Neil will come up to the back and see if he can get through. Three is one, through the top of the mountain. Through the fast left-hander, down the dip, and then now, down the dipper. As, oh, Ninja's on, Ninja goes through the gravel, but gets the car recovered. Very lucky to get away with that there. Through the dipper we go, and all cars looking very stable through there. All mid-engine cars. Not many people choosing the front-end option in this one, as... Uh, uh, only the BMWs are the front engine option, I think. Everyone else is mid engine in, in, in this one. As you go down the hill, Darren pulls away. The Acura's got some good power out the corner as well. Neil Farmack doesn't get a very good acceleration out of the Forest Elbow. But meanwhile, Woo Woo and Tim are still at the, at the front of the field. Still the same order. Still Woo Woo ahead of Tim, doing a good job of keeping the gap. Will there, he's had a little bit of an off. He's uh, got two headlights out on the right hand side, so he's had a bit of a running with the wall. There's Bert in fourth, Darren fifth, running a bit wide there, I think he was alright. Neil there in seventh, there's Pash in eighth, as uh, he goes off on the grass as well. Growly then oh, follows him, does exactly the same thing. There's Intrepid, Blake and Bidster, he's still coming down the straight very far back. Doesn't look like, doesn't look like he's going to make up many places in this race, so we'll have to see how the lap times go. But uh, Boo Woo's pulled out a bit of a gap over Tim. Tim looks like he might have made a little mistake coming onto the coming onto the uh, coming through the first corner onto the straight. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if there are any changes later on. But meanwhile, Nifty Dark Ninja Neil and Darren is the is the is the battle to watch. The battle for fifth place is alive, and it's three cars in the running for it through the uphill left hand, uh, right hander and up to the mountain. Then into the left handers now. Left hand kink into a hairpin. I think they're catching Bert as well. As they go to the corner, and the Ferrari goes wide but gets tucks in for a better exit. And look, he uses that exit to good, to good effect as Ninja's got that McLaren filling his mirrors. Oh, grazes the wall there, he's feeling the pressure. I think Nifty Dark Ninja's feeling the pressure, Neil moving left and right, he's trying to put some pressure on him. Up there, up over the exit we go, very close to the wall, grazing the wall on the way out. Through the left hander. And down to the dipper. A famous Bathurst Dipper claimed many victims over the years of spins and all sorts of crashes and a uh, very very challenging and unique uh, sequence of corners and down to the bottom we get to the forest elbow which leads on to the straight Darren a bit of a slide into the corner there I think he's okay 
So just pushing hard. Bert is definitely being caught by these boys. Bert in the BMW is definitely being caught. Meanwhile, speaking of being caught, Tim is going for the lead. He's trying to put pressure on Woo Woo, putting going left and right as Woo Woo defends the inside line a little bit there into the corner. So no way through for Oh, he might have a way through now because he's gone to the grass. Tim goes wide. And then the side by side now down towards the last corner of the battle for the lead is on. Tim on the inside. He's got the inside line and he gets it into the corner. Can oh, we was trying to hang on around the outside, but no way through. Tim takes the lead. Timofsky takes the lead in LPB Racing and leads a race. Well done for Tim. And let's see if we can uh, get away from Wuwu now or whether Wuwu can stick with him in the McLaren. Will still third. Then Bert is being caught by these lot. They've really caught him and they're still in the same order. But Bert is going backwards here towards this group. 2.09 for Bert last time round, 2.07s for the rest of them that are following, so definitely faster lap times. Biz is at the back under 2.07 as well, uh, so he's, he's, he's trying to push on, but I don't think he's going to get anywhere. Then we've got Intrepid, and uh, Blake's caught to the back of Intrepid, so that's one other thing that's developing in this race as well. So Pash is down in 8th place, so he's not really uh, catching up too quick. But meanwhile, this battle's going on. For fourth place still now, because it's, 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 it's really a battle for fourth now, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh place. And then we've got Tim and Woo Woo very close as well, within a tenth of a second. Woo Woo's right behind that BMW, pressuring all the way. What we'll do with our guys before this battle gets any more intense, we'll just get the replays in the first half for you now. Here's the replays of the first half of the race. Okay, here's the first of the replays then on lap one. So looking at Blakeney's car, what happens to him here up the hill? And he loses the back end of the car on the brake and hits the wall. Nifty bang! Bert assists as well. He couldn't have anywhere else to go then. Blakeney's left upside down, trying to get the car going again, and Darren makes places. Okay, now here's a replay on with Pash for him and Intrepid's incident on lap one. So watching it break into the chicane, Pash goes to the inside, but then watch Intrepid loses it himself. He was already spinning round and then he just spun round in front of Pash. Pash had nowhere to go, so it wasn't actually assisted, it was uh, Intrepid was spinning and Pash was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now here's the replay, what happened to Bitzer on lap two, so watch here going into the corner, Bitzer's rear end goes round, he's trying to catch it, he's trying to catch it, but then he just gets it back, but then Growl is in the, in, in, uh, just at where he used to be, and Bitzer ends up spinning the car round and facing the wrong way. Here's another angle of that now on board with Bitzer. Look, the car slides, he's caught it, he's caught it, and then he just, he gets it, and then Growley's coming round, nowhere to go. Round he goes into the wall, and he has to wait for the others to come past. There goes the what, first lot. And then he has to wait for Blake, and then he gets the car turned round. And now back to the race. As you come back from that, Tim makes a little mistake. Down the dipper, and Woo Woo can't go anywhere. He can't get past him. He makes a little error down the down the hill, and Woo Woo still. And again, he makes an error. Woo Woo gets alongside him, side by side towards the first elbow, and Woo Woo goes through. Wow, absolutely incredible there. He took, he took really took advantage of that. And Tim had nowhere to go. Now he's alongside him. He gets a good run out the corner. Woo Woo doesn't initially see him, and Tim gets alongside him, side by side down the Conrad straight. We go. BMW power versus McLaren power. And BMW wins. Because he got, he got a bit of an overrun as well. Down to the left-hander at the end. Break, break, break. And Will was going for the inside again. Through the inside. Tim gives him space. He's aware. And a foul. Oh, it would have been a brilliant move. But Will got a nice look. Got a bit, of a, a, a bit of a slide on at the corner. And absolutely just loses grip. And go. And he doesn't spin or anything. But he just uh, loses grip. And down to second place we go. This is a heat of battle. Will was now just trying to gather himself up. Runs a bit wide there. But Tim is now ahead. And meanwhile in the battle for fourth place. Darren's gone back down to seventh. No, Darren has made a mistake. He's gone back down as well. So Darren's gone back down to seventh. And uh, uh, Nif uh, Nifty and Neil have gone through and now it's their turn to chase Bert. Darren at 2.12 last time round, so not good for him. Meanwhile, Growley's gone to the back of the field. Growley's gone to the back of the field. Bidson moves up a place, but Growley has gone back down a position there. And meanwhile, we've got Intrepid and Blake close together as well. With Blake on the inside of Intrepid into the first corner. And Blake takes ninth place from Intrepid. But Intrepid, oh, Intrepid, sc screw you, sunshine. I'm straight back up the inside. Intrepid gets a good run there. and But now they get the power on and Blake's BMW, much more powerful in a straight line than the Porsche, just powers straight back through. 
And Intrepid is left with no choice but to let the BMW go. Don't think the Porsche is as suited to this track as the others, but we'll see how we go. But Intrepid then losing the place to Blake. Meanwhile, Bert is under pressure from Nifty and Neil still, so still a bit of a consistent gap there as he grazes the wall on the way out. Tim is still in the lead as we go down the dipper, but Woo Woo is now back on him, keeping him honest. Right back on the back of him here. And looking for a way through, looking left, looking right, pressurising. The BMW has been... Oh! Oh! Tim with an absolutely massive slide as he hits the brakes into the corner, defending his line into the corner. Oh, either, that or he had a tw either that or he had a twitch and he didn't have any choice, but wow. Tim with incredible car control there, stopping the car, and uh, we were left with nothing but to park it on the apex and get into the corner. Meanwhile, Bert is under pressure from Nifty Dart Ninja and Neil Farmer. Nifty Dart Ninja looking for a way through in the Acura NSX. Bert on the inside. And Nifty Dark Ninja going around, he's going to have the outside for the chase, it's going to be side by side through the chase, oh, contact, Bert turns in and oh, he turns in too early and Neil Farmack again is an innocent victim, again, I think that should be his nickname, in Mr. Uh, Captain Innocent Victim, but Bert then pulled in too early behind, uh, behind Nifty Dark Ninja and then lost control of the car, Neil was in the wrong place at the wrong time, yet again, he lets him pass but that just, uh, that's not going to be good, and Bert there, that'll be under review there, that, that move there, but uh, we'll have to see what happens, but uh, Neil Farmack gets 7th back, which is some consolation, but that's not where he needed to be, and Bert goes right back down to 10th place, and he's got Bidster catching up now in the background as well, so not good there, uh, bit of a lack of awareness there by Bert, just too eager to turn back uh, in behind him, but we'll get replays on that later on to confirm what happened. Meanwhile, Tim is in the lead. Oh, oh Woo Woo's gone right back down. He's uh, he's made he's made some kind of mistake somewhere. Um, he's gone. Well, Woo 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 is there. He's in third. Sorry, guys, but yeah, Woo Woo there in third, and yeah, he's made some kind of mistake, and Will's gone through to second place now. So Woo Woo then goes right back off the lead, and yeah, 2:15 last time round. So definitely made a mistake somewhere. Again, we'll get that clarified in the replay at the end as well. But that means that Tim is out in front and he's three and a half seconds ahead of Will and he just needs to keep it that way. And he can get some good points in for himself and the team that he's, do, he's, uh, he's uh, covering for. He's covering for Twerdy in the uh, in Team Bert D, which will now be sort of renamed to Bert D Ski, probably. But, uh, yeah, he goes through there. And we've got Intrepid in ninth with Bert in tenth, Bidster in eleventh. So Bidster might be able to gain a few more places out of this. We'll have to see. 207.9 last time round, still pushing hard. He's got the pace, but he's just at the wrong end of the field. And he obviously had the, that mis he had that incident earlier. As, oh, wow! Uh, Bert's car goes right in the air there. As we saw it come towards the camera, so a bit of a lag spike there as Bert's car came down the hill. But luckily, I think we're all okay. And Bert, oh, he's lost control of the car. He's just not got no rhythm left in that car now after what happened earlier. He's just lost all his rhythm, and he's surrounded by the two Porsches of Bidstead and Intrepid. Further in front, Darren, he's got Neil Farmack for company, Neil trying to close up to him as well. Lap 7 out of 9 here at Bathurst in race 1 of 3 here at Bathurst, round 3 of the LPB GT3 Sprint Series. Intrepid there with Bert still behind him, Bert trying to close up but still Intrepid keeping the gap in what he needs. So down to the last corner, Intrepid into the corner, Bert, very close to the grass there on the break in there, oh, Intrepid's even more closer to the grass, he's that close to the grass, he's hit the wall, but Intrepid loses speed there, and Bert is going to have a look through on the inside for, the, for turn one, he's not quite alongside enough, but he's going to put the car down the inside of him, Intrepid leaves him room, and goes through, Bidster now gets a good run, and now, all three close together, and Bidster's getting right behind his teammate here, trying to get up behind him, I think, I think he's, oh, he's almost pushing him along, he's trying to help him by pushing him along, NASCAR draft style and Intrepid then he's able to get through into the ninth place again yes he holds it so a bit of teammate draft work there and it worked but a bit of bump drafting and uh, Intrepid goes uh, th uh, through into ninth Bert trying to look on the inside again Intrepid where that where he is there and hits the wall trying to give him too much room and Bert goes through into ninth but now Intrepid gets a good one out the corner Intrepid on the inside side by side up the mountain don't do this boys this is going to be absolutely manic oh side by side up the mountain Bert goes wide ricochets off the wall Bits is thinking these guys are crazy as you go down oh they are crazy Bert's just had a massive massive uh, moment there 
which made Intrepid almost hit his teammate. Incredible there. But well, that was absolutely mad. But everyone escapes. Okay. Wow, that was close. As we go through. Sorry for the sniffly guys. It's the sniffle, uh, sniffle nose. It's uh, hay fever season. And uh, unfortunately, your commentator does suffer from that a bit. So I do apologise for any little, little sniffles you might hear. As Intrepid lets his teammate go, he, he, I think he knows that Biz has got some more pace. So we'll see if Biz can grab some more, more points from the team. So good decision there by Intrepid. And Biz is now going to try, and he's already pulling away, trying to catch Bert. Meanwhile, just starting his last lap of the race is Tim. Tim off, uh, Timinovsky starting his last lap of the race. Looking for his uh, debut race, looking for his debut win. Absolutely incredible. Couldn't get a better start in LPB racing if he tried. Will in second. He's doing very well for second place here, Will. There's going to be some good points for his team. Woo Woo is in third. He's still in third after the uh, losing time earlier on uh, with a little mistake. But back down to 30 goes nifty dark ninja in a very very comfortable and very impressive fourth place for him that'll be his best finish with lpb racing so far pash is in fifth he's caught back up to fifth place so he's gone ahead and obviously because neil farmack and those had those incidents late earlier on so sixth for neil farmack seventh for blake he's recovered from earlier on so good recovery drive for him Darren is, is, is in 8th, he's uh, struggled in this one, he's, uh, he was very impressive at first but then just uh, slowly started to decline his way down the field, unfortunately made a little mistake earlier on as well, Bert is now down in ninth. he's gone from 4th to ninth over this race, not really very good for him so far, he hits the wall again and now he's under pressure from Bidster, can Bidster get through on these last few laps, Bidster slides the car at the corner. 2 of 13 last time, last time around from Bidster, that's probably why he was, uh, well he was trying to uh, avoid <laughs> um, Burton Intrepid while they're having their little fight they go down the hill grazing the wall there doesn't look like he's very comfortable in that car bids neither does Intrepid so it doesn't look like the Porsche is the best choice around here but uh, it's what they're stuck with now it's what they've got to do but meanwhile down to the last few corners Timonovsky coming look around the last few corners looking for his first win we'll call him Tim and it's Tim looking for his first win in LPB racing. Round the last corner we go in the BMW. German car, German driver taking his first victory. Well done, Tim. He flashes lights. Victory for Tim in LPB racing in his debut race. What a drive from Tim. Fantastic stuff. Will is second. Fantastic drive for Will as well. Good point for him. Woo woo. Will be in third. He'll be disappointed with that because he made a mistake earlier on, but uh, that's what he gets anyway. Nifty Dark Ninja, fourth place, just off the podium. His best finish so far as well. Well done to Nifty Dark Ninja. A good fourth place there. And then it's Pash in fifth in the Ferrari. Well done to Pash. Fifth place for him. Neil Farmack is going to be in 6th after the getting uh, took out earlier on. 6th place for Neil. Blake is going to be in 7th with Darren just following in behind in 8th position. Then we've got Bert in 9th with Bidster is going to be in 10th. So he didn't quite get past him. And then it's going to be Intrepid in 11th in the Porsche there. In the 11th for Intrepid. And Growl is going to finish off the 12th. So, hope you all enjoyed that race, guys. Let's take you now to the replay, followed by the results. Here's the replays of the second half of the race. Okay, now here's the first replay of the second half, watching Darren on lap five into the corner at the end. He just breaks way too late. It's a little bit too late. And then onto the grass he goes, and then Nifty Dark Ninja and Neil both go through. He's on the grass. Still trying to recover and then ends up recovering in seventh place. That's how he lost the two places. Okay, now we look at the incident between Neil Farmack and Bert and Nifty Dark Ninja. So going down here, watch we're catching up, but when watch Bert's car, he pulls in to get back behind the drab, then pulls in too early, hits the back of Nifty's car, loses control, and Neil Farmack then gets hit in the process. Again, Neil Farmack, the innocent victim of someone else's at crash. And now here's the replay of what happened to Woo Woo for him to lose his second place. So on lap six, going down towards the last corner, he breaks here, break, 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 into the corner and just catches the grass and then he catches the car on the grass and the back end spins round. There goes Will, he quickly gets the car turned round while there's no one coming and then gets going, but he's lost second place. Okay, here's a replay of something funny that happened on lap seven. Watch Bert's car. 
goes over the grass and hits the wall, but look, the car flies in the air and takes a flying lesson. If the car had been like that, it'd have flown over the wall and right down the mountain, so <laughs> that's a score one for Project Cars Physics. Here's a replay of some action in between Darren and Neil on lap 8. Darren goes on the grass to the side by side, almost hits the McLaren, then goes across the grass, across the track, onto the other side. And Neil Farmack takes 6th place, Darren down to 7th place. That was the replays of the second half, and now it will take you straight to the results. So then, here's the results then of race one. Tim takes his maiden win in his first race with us. So, uh, incredible stuff there from Tim. Wins the race uh, with Will in second place. Will Will in third. With Nifty Dark Ninja in fourth. We've got Pash down in fifth as we go over the page. With Neil Farmack in sixth. We've got Blake in seventh. Darren finishes eighth. Bert in ninth. We've got Bidster down in tenth after that spin. Never really recovered from down there. Intrepid in eleventh. Uh, so not a good day for the, for the Porsche squad, and then the Growly in 12th. And as we come back from all that, your winner there is Tim. Well done to Tim in the BMW. Fantastic win for him. Brilliant debut race. Couldn't be any better, even if he tried. So fantastic win there for Tim in race one. And we will see you guys next time for race two. We'll see you then, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching another race by LPB Racing. What a fantastic race one from Bathurst. Don't forget to like and subscribe to LPB Racing for more brilliant action. Next time it's going to be round three, race two from Bathurst. And it's going to be in the sunset. We'll see you then everyone.